If you are contemplating in trading the stock market as your new business, or to be a successful investor like Warren Buffett. In this video, you will learn what a stock trader is and what a stock investor is. An example of a similar business to trading and to investing. And we can also learn the strategy of traders and investors in entering and exiting the financial markets. Welcome to AppTrend channel where traders and entrepreneurs come to level up their games. If you watch this video till the end, you can have a better assessment and perhaps decision on what road to take. We will limit this video to retail or individual trader and investor. To trade or to invest? Stock traders, or equity traders, are people who trade in equity securities. Their primary goal is to purchase and sell shares in different companies and try to profit off short-term gains from stock price fluctuations for themselves or for their clients. Traders play an important role in the market because they provide much-needed liquidity, which helps both investors and other traders. Liquidity means there's enough volume of trades as well as buyers and sellers in the market so that stocks can be bought or sold easily. Investors on the other hand. are individuals who typically buy and sell debt, equity, and other investments through a broker, bank, and mutual fund. They execute their trades through traditional, full-service brokerages, discount brokers, and online brokers. They manage their own money. Usually, when investing for the long term for their own accounts, they invest much bigger amounts and less frequently, compared to traders. Investors are usually driven by personal, life event goals, such as planning for retirement, saving for their children's education, buying a home, or financing some other large purchase. Trading is like an automotive buy and sell thing. You buy below the market price and sell it at its maximum price. However, if you hold long enough to the car you are selling, the value of the car can depreciate. Instead of a possible gain, you can have a loss or break even. In trading, you buy and sell stocks. You buy at its relative low price, having in mind that the price of the stock will be up in a day, week, month or even in minutes. In investing, it's like buying a property based on the location, make money in due time once it appreciates in value and you can earn if you rent it out. Similar to investing you buy a stock base on its intrinsic value to generate a capital gain and from dividend income. Intrinsic value is a measure of what an asset is worth. Investors makes an objective calculation on the stock's financial statements. Intrinsic value is different from the current market price of an asset. Investors compare the current price to company's worth and determine if it is overvalued or undervalued. Capital gains represent the difference between the purchase price, called cost basis, and the sale price of the stock or security. Dividends are cash payments by companies that reward shareholders for buying their stock. This is given on a quarterly and or annual basis. Some investors hold on to positions for years, particularly if it's a solid, stable company with a consistent track record of paying dividends. This is the preferred income strategy of retirees, additional source of income aside from their social security benefit. Data Analysis Both traders and investors analyze this five basic information before making a decision on what to buy and when to buy. Technical Analysis What is technical analysis? Technical analysis is a trading discipline employed to evaluate investments and identify trading opportunities by analyzing statistical trends gathered from trading activity, such as price movement and volume. Unlike fundamental analysis, which attempts to evaluate a security's value based on business results such as sales and earnings, technical analysis focuses on the study of price and volume. If you like to learn technical analysis and fundamental analysis, 
The link is in the description below. Trading is the fast and furious approach. Before a trader buys a stock, he already knows when to sell. A trader bases his decision 80 to 90% of the time on the technical analysis. Traders believes that the chart tells the whole picture of what's going on in each stock. Traders look for the movement of price and volume, the demand and supply area, the momentum of the stocks, back testing and forward testing, looking on how the market reacts when reaching a certain price, chart patterns and other helpful indicators. Traders don't need to know what the company does and only hold a position for 5 to 20 days, and therefore not subject to recessions or economic downturns. In investing, their buy and hold strategy, due diligence is of utmost importance. Investors study the company's profile, what kind of operation and leaders and major investors behind that company, their financial statements, year-on-year, quarter-on-quarter income statements, PE ratio, EPS ratio, and other ratios. Disclosures, expansion program, new product launch, dividend schedule. Investors ignore short-term fluctuations in stock prices. They believe on their system and convince that stocks that they have will be valued so much more. This gives investors more time on their hands to do other things. That is the basic difference of trading and investing. A different mindset, a different time horizon, a different level of risk. Will you be trading? Or investing? Please write your answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you find value in this video, please click the like button and feel free to share this video and hit the subscription if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions or questions, please write in the comment section below. See you in the next video. May the profits be with you. To let me know that you watch till the end. Please type in the comment. And also with you.